lattice an abstract structure in mathematics and this is a foundation for boolean algebra the subject is pretty vast uh, i'll restrict myself only to gate syllabus and in this lecture we'll be starting with the concept of lattice then what is meet and join then we'll move on to identifying a lattice from a partial order lattice it's basically a partial order where for every pair of elements maybe some a b which belongs to the partial order if each of these pair have the least upper bound and the greatest lower bound then we call this partial order a lattice here we'll be dealing with lub and glb for only a pair of elements therefore these are given some unique names and representation when we take two elements a and b we take the least upper bound of a and b which is represented as a plus b and greatest lower bound for a and b is represented by a dot b and this lub is called join and glb is called meet let's take some partial orders and let's see if they become lattice here we have a partial order uh, and the set is s8 that's basically the factors of 8 which include 1 2 4 and 8 and the partial order is division so basically 1 divides 2 2 divides 4 and 4 divides 8 now let's see if it forms a lattice so the lattice definition says that if you pick up any two elements uh, it should have lub and glb or join and meet if we take the elements 1 and 2 here we can see one is the lowest element so this is the lower bound and because we have only one element that itself will be the greatest lower bound or we call it as uh, meet how about upper bounds for two we have 8 4 and 2 in that the lowest upper bound will be 2 so this is the the lub we call it as join what if we take 2 and 4 for 2 and 4 2 is the meet and 4 is the join the elements we pick need not be in a sequence we can pick any two elements therefore if i take 2 and 8 for 2 and 8 2 is the meet and 8 is the join so for every two elements we have meet and join defined therefore this becomes a lattice let's try one more here we have a partial order with the set s6 so this is a set of uh, factors for 6 that's 1 2 3 and 6 and the operation we are defining is division so 1 can divide 2 and 3 and 2 can divide 6, 3 can divide 6. And 2 and 3 are incomparable because 2 cannot divide 3, nor 3 can divide 2. Now let's check if this forms a lattice. If we take the elements 1 and 2, uh, 1 is the lower bound, and that itself is the greatest lower bound. So this becomes the meet. And 2 is the upper bound, and that itself is the lowest upper bound. Therefore, this will be the join. And let's take 2, 3. There is no relation between them. Now, since there is no connection between 2 and 3, I cannot say that 2 is the lower bound because I cannot compare it with this. And even 3 cannot be compared with this. Therefore, none of them are the lower bounds or upper bounds. But if you carefully observe, for these two, 1 is a lower bound. So we can say this is the greatest lower bound for both 2 and 3. Therefore, the meet in this case will be 1. Similarly, 6 is the upper bound for both 2 and 3. Therefore, the join will be 6. Similarly, you can pick up uh, every two elements and you can check it. All of them will have meet and joins. Therefore, this becomes a lattice. Before we move further, let me give you two more examples which are frequently seen in the exams. Here we have set S24. So these are the factors of 24, which are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. And the partial order is defined on division. 
So let's draw the Husser diagram for practice. We'll start with the lowest element that is 1. So we'll keep it at the bottommost level. The next element is 2. So let me put it over here. And 1 can divide 2, therefore we can join this. Then 3. Can 2 divide 3? No. Therefore I put it at the same level. There won't be any relation, but 1 can divide this, so I can join them. Next is 4. 4 is not divisible by 3, but it is divisible by 2. Therefore, I'll put it somewhere over here on the next level. And we're going to join this. The next element is 6. 6 is not divisible by 4, but it is divisible by 3 as well as 2. So maybe I could put it at the same level as 4. So I'll put it over here. And because these two can divide it, we can join these two. Now moving further, we have 8. 8 is only divisible by 4, but not 6. So I'll put it over here. And let's join this. Then we have 12. 12 is not divisible by 8, but it is divisible by 6 as well as 4. So I can put the same level as 8. That becomes 12, which is divisible by 6 as well as 4. Then we have 24. 24 is divisible by 8 as well as 12. So it's on the next level. Yeah. It looks more like a ladder, right? Okay. Now, is this a lattice? Yes, it is. You can test it. You can pick up any two elements and look for a join and meet, and you'll definitely find them. The next is a set with three elements A, B, C, and we are trying to form a partial order of our power set over subset. So, power set has what kind of elements? So, it will have the null set, then it will have single elements A, then B, then C. Then you'll have two two combinations that's AB, then BC, then AC. And finally, all the elements ABC. Let's start with the null set uh, because that's the first element. Uh, we're going to put it at the lowest level. Null set is a subset of this set, this set, and even this set. Now we are not putting a line over here because this is not a subset of this, and even this is not a subset of this. The next is with two two elements. So if I combine AB, probably I could write it somewhere over here, AB, and then maybe AC and some BC. Now for AB, A is a subset, and even B is a subset. For BC, B is a subset, and even C is a subset. For AC, these two are subsets. Now, the only set which is left is all the three elements A, B, and C. So for this, this is a subset, this, and this. This forms a cube structure, and this is a lattice, and in fact, it's called a distributive lattice. Now, what's distributive lattice? We'll discuss in the further video. So far, good. We have learned how do we identify lattice, then we have seen frequently used lattices like this. The next thing is, how do we identify a partial order which is not a lattice? Here we have a partial order. This was the one which we have used in the previous lectures. Now to check if it's a lattice, uh, let me pick up these two elements, 2 and 3, because there's no connection. Wherever there's no connection, there's a possibility that the condition fails. So here, both of them have an upper bound, common upper bound that is the 6. So this will become the join. But they don't have any uh, low bounds, therefore, no meet. And even you can check here for 36 and 24, there are no upper bounds, therefore, it does not have joints, no joints. So this is not a lattice, condition fails. How about here? Again, uh, here I see that there's no connection, so let me test with this. Now for these two elements, there is a lower bound D and there is also a lower bound B, but both are at the same level. So I cannot pick up one which is the greatest lower bound, therefore no greatest lower bound or no meet. And E is at higher level than C, but the problem is there is no relation between them. Therefore I cannot say that this is greater than this, therefore this cannot be an upper bound. So there is no join also. So even this is not a lattice. 
the only way to check is make a while guess so i would suggest pick up the elements where there's no relation and then test it and if the condition fails it's not a lattice here's the question asked in gate 2008 consider the following hasse diagrams which of the above represent a lattice the first one uh, this was the example which we have taken in the definition of lattice and we have tested it it is a lattice now coming to the second one this was a the previous one we have checked for these two elements condition fails therefore this is not a lattice for third one let me pick up these two elements for these two there is a common element here that will become the meet but for join you see there are there's an upper bound over here and there's also an upper bound over here but out of these two we cannot pick one as the lowest upper bound therefore there's no join in this case therefore this is not a lattice and coming to this everything is connected uh, but here i see that there's no connection but here uh, for these two a common element is here therefore this becomes the join that's the lowest upper bound and out of these two this is the element which is a lower bound for this as well as this and that itself is the greatest lower bound so this will be the meet now we can test with any other two elements you will find that there is a meet and a join therefore this becomes a lattice so if you look into the options we have 1 and 4 therefore this is the answer